Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. We are here for day one of our Countdown to Christmas series with our advent calendar. And um, as I said in the trailer, I will be putting something different into my shop every single day um, for the 24 days, obviously, you know, in the countdown or the lead, lead up to Christmas. Um, uh, hopefully they're going to be kind of a variety of things in all different price ranges. Um, so that there would be obviously kind of full blown big journals, there will be smaller, um, you know, obviously much less expensive items too. Um, so we're going to kick off, I thought let's be festive and kick off with the um, Christmas journal that I have been working on. Now, not everything that's going into my shop is going to be Christmas themed. So I just want to kind of point that out. There, you know, it's not going to only be Christmas things. Um, in fact, there's only, I think, a couple of Christmas things. So the rest is going to be, you know, all year round, non-seasonal -se things. So if you saw some of my episodes, this is a ring bound journal. It's turned out super fat, just, just how I love making them. Uh, the size of it is, it's six and a half by, uh, just under nine inches. Um, it's made from a soft envelope which has been layered up with various things glued onto it so it's no longer particularly soft although it is still squishy if you see what I mean um, but as an individual piece it's it's not kind of floppy or you know bendable or anything like that. Um, it's on those large rings and then on the rings I've just tied around a couple of bits of lace and then I've just popped one of those brooch pins onto this flower so the flower could be removed and obviously used as a brooch or, you know, pinned onto a cushion or something like that. But I've just put it on there because I thought it was pretty. The closure is just this beautiful organza ribbon in this lovely colour blue. I've done it kind of like in a parcel way of <laughs> taping it up. So it's kind of gone all, you know, four sides of the journal. Um, but once you obviously untie it, it can then just be removed completely. Uh, so the front cover has been covered with, it was paper, then it was some pink lace and some white lace and then all sorts of other lace bits collaged up and, you know, layered up and things like that. Um, you've got then some fabric ruffle down here, this gorgeous um, scalloped ribbon lace on there and then I just glued a couple of those little, um, you know, glitter dot ball things on there. Um, this piece from the kit, which again, he's got some kind of faux snow on him. One of those little ribbon kind of embellishments um, on there with a kind of collar. And that's been glossy accented, accented in the middle. And then this gorgeous lace flower here, again, with one of those little sort of dot things in the middle of there. Um, and a lot of the lace, lace has been glittered up. So it's super glittery and yeah, super pretty. The back has just been done in the same base, so the, you know, the coloured paper, the pink lace and then the white lace. And then you've just got literally just, um, you know, a couple of lace touches on it and some little white flowers. The flowers I just thought look similar to snowflakes and then obviously my handmade by label. So going inside the journal, I'm just going to raise the camera slightly because obviously it's quite a big journal. So I just want to hopefully be able to fit the whole thing into the screen. So going into the journal, I love how this turned out. I just, oh, I've had a blast using these different colours for Christmas. Um, it's been, you know, really, really fun. So the inside of the front cover, I've just, um, I gessoed first of all and then put some doily around and then just put one of the background pages on, glued it down and then stitched around it. It looks super pretty. I didn't really want to cover it up because it's such a pretty um, image and so, you know, so vibrant colours. And then I just put some ruffled um, ribbon lace kind of down the edge. A little cluster up here, um, which again, I think we made together on camera. And then you've just got a fabric ruffle down here and a little bow. Um, so, you know, <laughs> lots going on, but without covering up the, the image. And then on the facing page, you've got one of my little flippy kind of book things so this has been stitched on the sewing machine and then you've just got these couple of pockets here to put some journaling cards um, and obviously as you can see the stitching there and then you've got journaling space obviously all over there this is my food coloured paper so you've got some lace trim the word imagine some of those little balls that I've been using everywhere and then an image from the kit and then it all just ties around obviously on the top layer which then in turn holds the other 
you know the underneath layers closed as well so I love how that looks and that's also a pocket so you could put a journaling card in there I'm not quite sure why I don't seem to have journaling cards um, in there I've obviously missed that so I will um, endeavour to put some journaling cards in there um, and then this side you have got a gorgeous little matchbox book and it's got again a cluster on there some lace trim and some lace down here you've got some lace going along the um oh, the <laughs> well the edge anyway um and then some layered up bits and pieces so journaling space in here and again i absolutely love how this looks with just the lace and the couple of little faux postage stamps and the word precious and a little bow down there and this is also a tuck spot here so you could then tuck something in there and for some reason again I've missed putting a journaling card in there so I will do that um, you know before the journal goes out so on this side of the page I have got one of my slot pockets which we've done in a mass make just tucked a couple of journaling cards into there and on that pocket you've just got a little faux post uh, not sorry sorry not faux postage stamp a vintage postage stamp some pearly trim and some holly you've got a little flower and then a little ruffle at the bottom and then tucked in here you've just got a journaling card up there and then up here you've got some lace trim some doily another one of those little stamps this time it's kind of glued on those faux uh, foam you know dots so it's raised and then a little tiny piece here and I just made a really, really tiny little booklet. So, I mean, it's just got a couple of pages of the food coloured paper, but it's so sweet. Just thought that was just so cute. So that just tucks in on the top there. And then that journaling card just goes in there. And then going over the page, you've got here a, um, you know, one of those double pockets, which again, we've made in the mass making. And it's a pocket here. So I've just put some of the stationery from the kit into there so that just goes in there you've got a cluster here and then some pearls some lace trim and then the gorgeous red ruffle down there with a bow and then again I just took oops a couple of journaling cards from the kit and just popped them into that pocket like that and this is actually a really roomy pocket so you could easily fit more things in there and then on this page we've got here one of those little <clears throat> pocket kind of flip things again I've done these in a tutorial and I think we also have done these in a mass make so decorated it up with various various things little bow here um, didn't kind of stick it down all the way a bit like a butterfly I kind of left the sides and then a little pearl you've got the birdhouse there you've got some lace trim and some pearls the word wonder there on some of that pretty mulberry paper and then this is the pocket for a journaling card and that just kind of mimics obviously the image that's behind which i thought was really really pretty so that just goes in there if if i'm careful and can actually get it in okay yep that's in there um stitched around there on the sewing machine and then when you turn the page you've got one of these gorgeous like flippy pads in the different colored papers so these are again my food colored papers just mix them up for some interest and they just go like that and then obviously underneath you've got that gorgeous um, patterned paper as well some lace trim here and this little lantern it just holds the little flippy pad down so as it stays flat like that and then you can tie the pages or you know tie the the pocket together like that and then tucked in the side again it's a pocket here so you've just got a little journaling card from the kit that goes in there and then going over the page right going over the page I had to check there because I thought oh, what type of pocket is this sometimes you just can't remember what you've done um, so I have a large pocket here again a label layered up here you've got this gorgeous red lace going down the side little postage stamp from the kit and this and then some pearl trim some ruffle at the bottom and a little bow and then this is again a really super roomy pocket so you could stuff this with some extra things but what I've done I've just made a little kind of flippy you know out piece and then it tucks in behind that ticket again all from the kit and then in there I just put some of those food color papers and stapled them in like you know stapled them together and then glued them on like that so that just then just tucks in there 
like that so not too bulky it you know it goes pretty flat but like I say this is actually a huge pocket so you could definitely fit some more things in there and then going over the page you've got one of those um, little coin envelopes and again wanted to kind of keep it so you could see a lot of the paper but I just popped a tree on from the kit with some soft net you've got a little pearl on the top of the tree and then some lace here a flower and one of those little dots and then you've just got some ruffle and some lace down the bottom and going inside the coin envelope you've just got again another journaling card from the kit that just goes in like that and then here you've just got another journaling card tucked in behind that just goes like that and then going over the page we've got here it's another little match box book so this one just has a little journaling card also tucked in there as well so that just tucks in like that and again just layered it up with some beautiful things from the kit on the front and stitched some ribbon across the bottom like in a ruffle and a little bow you've got some lace trim here and then a ruffle going down the side of the page and then this is also a tuck spot and I just took one of the um, tags from the kit and just put a tab on the top with some ribbon and a flower lace at the bottom one of the tickets and then on the back I just took one of the labels and just made a little pocket and I just popped in one of the little bauble bauble ball fuss, fussy cuts from the kit and just popped that in there I thought that just was super cute really so that just goes like that and then on this side you've got here um is the back of an envelope so this page is actually you know a um an envelope that i've made so i've just collaged up some bits and pieces here and um you've got a faux postage stamp from the kit on some lace some doily various things and then you've got a lantern with a bow some lace down here and some pearls and then when you go over i love how this envelope looks it's so pretty so you've just got here um, some lace, a little ribbon um, tab there and a bow. And then this has got a magnetic closure. I don't mind the fact that you can see the, you know, the magnet here. Um, obviously, if you didn't like that, you could always cover it up. I haven't covered it up because obviously the more pieces of paper between the magnets, the more you're going to lose strength of the magnet. So, you know, I left it like that and then it's nice and, you know, holds, holds strong. And then tucked into there again just took another piece of stationery from the kit put some lace across the top and some holly and then just tucked that in to the envelope again I mean that's a big sort of envelope in there you could also put some more stuff in there and then on this side we've got a little um, handmade pocket from some of the papers from the kit layered up the candy canes and made a little cluster popped that on there um, a flower here some ruffle and a yo-yo and then I just popped a journaling card into this pocket. You've got some lace trim going down on the inside of the page and a bow. And then in this side, you've just got, again, a couple of journaling cards from the kit just tucked in there to the side. Let's see if I can get it back in. Okay. And then going over the page, we've got this page here, which really super pretty in its colours it's just very pale kind of pinks and blues um chasing rainbows sentiment down there you've got some lace some white ruffle and some pearls there and then this is one of those envelope pockets which we did on a mass make so just top load in there and just popped in again a piece of stationery oh no sorry not a piece of stationery this is just one of the background pages from the kit and I just kind of cut it in half, folded it up as if it was a piece of stationery, um, popped on a faux postage stamp and some red lace trim across the top. And then obviously it just then folds into thirds and tucks in up there. You've got some mulberry paper down the side and then you've also got a little pocket down here and I just popped in a journaling card there. Oops, like that. And then on this page, you've got a... Um, like triple pocket so you've got some ruffle down here tim holtz rosette and then here you've got some pearly trim and some ruffled um ribbon and then in the first pocket i just put a little flip down again in some of that food colored paper it's really pretty because you've got lots of different colored food colored papers in here 
And then on the little flap, I just put this glittered heart with a little bow and the word bliss. And I love how that looks because you can just pop that in but have the, you know, the flap sort of poking out. Then in the next one, we've just got one of the round tags from the kit that just tucks in there. And then at the top, we've just got a journaling card from the kit there with some lace running across the top. Little banner there from the kit and that just tucks in like that. And then in the side here, I also just popped, I think there's two, a couple of journaling cards there just in the side like that. Then you've got a little ribbon kind of tab on the edge of the page. And then on this page, we've just got a little, again, tie up piece. You've got a label here, which again, that's another pocket. You've got some ruffle down the side and then some lace here dangling down, a little bow and then some pearls. And then when you open this, you've got just a top loading pocket here. Again, you've just got some red ribbon down, uh, red lace down there. And the top loading pocket here, you've just got, you know, pretty ribbon and flower there. So that just tucks in like that. Oops, have to be careful. Okay, there we go. Um, more journaling space obviously in here. And then that whole thing obviously just ties back up like that. And then, oops, in the side, you've just got, again, another journaling card from the kit. And then you've got your kind of plain journaling pages. So in my ring bound journals, I do normally um, try and include some plain journaling pages. So it gives you the greatest flexibility then to have lots of decorative pages and, you know, plenty of room for journaling. And obviously the beauty of a ring bound journal, if you don't like how it's actually put together, you know, the way I've done it, you can move pages around and, um, you know, put them how you would like them. So I've tried to kind of decorate um, some of the pages with pieces. So you've got a banner there from the kit. You've just got some holly and the word love and some doily. Then here I just took some of the fussy cut elements and made almost like a little snippet piece running down the side of that page. I love how that looks. Um, yeah, just really, really pretty. And then here you've just got a ticket on some net, one of the little Christmas trees. And then here you've just got an altered paper clip, which so super pretty it's just one of the faux postage stamps and all i've done is glittered around it and put it on some nets but it's so so pretty and then that just clips up here oh underneath you've just got another faux postage stamp from the kit sorry i've just got some glue threads here so that just clips on there and then that was holding in a journaling card from the kit there um another one here and then here you've just got a piece of stationery from the kit with one of those little ribbon kind of um, like a rosette, I suppose, with a little glossy accents, um, you know, centre for that. So they just then clip in under that paper clip. Um, another page here that's plain and then plain for journaling on the back, a little window from the kit there and some lace. One of the bird houses from the kit here with some lace. Um, so just some holly on this one and then this one's just got a little fabric ruffle down the bottom one of the um, wreaths and then the special handling sign there on some lace and then going over again I did another little altered paper clip so again this is so super cute it's just got one of the pieces from the kit layered it up on some of the background page and then um, the word memories and some holly some lace on there and that just obviously oops, clips onto the side of the page holding this little piece so this one is one of those little wraparound pieces which again we've done these in a mass make uh, yeah i think we've done these in a mass make um, i would have to double check but i'm sure we have um so again i love how this looks so i just put some lace at the top and then obviously it just wraps around here and then when you open it up you've got one of the windows from the kit down there and then obviously just some pages there for journaling like that and then some red lace across the top so that just wraps back around there and that just clips in like that another um plain page there for you know journaling around and then here you've got just a little piece um one of the baubles from the kit there then on this page again another piece from the kit just layered onto some pink lace looks super pretty 
And then on the facing page, these are uh, um, the Charlotte Peterson uh, lace belly bands, the double lace belly bands, which again, we've done in a mass make. Um, just did them onto some food coloured card there. So you can see the really pretty green just coming through the lace. And it just picks up the greens, obviously, in the background pages. Love how that looks. And then you've just got a ruffle at the top and a little label piece and a bow. Then you've got some lace down here and a little fabric flower. And then tucked into there, again, I just took a piece of the background page and just then, you know, folded it over and popped it in to there. And then on the other side, because obviously it's a double belly band um, piece, so tried to keep this page quite <laughs> neutral-ish. Um, so you've got just various kind of things layered up that's, you know, hopefully very much in keeping with the rest of the page. And then just again, made a little flippy pad with one of the pieces from the kit and then some of the gorgeous food coloured paper and then just stapled it across the top, put some lace across on the front and some little pearls in the corner. Looks super cute and just slots in there. And then we're on to the inside of the back cover. So again, I just wanted to let this um, page kind of speak for itself really. So I did the same as the, you know, the inside of the front cover where I gessoed up, put some doily down, took one of the decorative pieces from the kit, um, glued that down and stitched it on and then put a ruffle up here. Uh, this gorgeous bow that just runs down kind of the side of the page, a little flower and then here some um, glittered kind of blue ribbon which I just thought sets this off brilliantly because it just picks up the blue perfectly from the sort of bow on the top of here. And then you've just got some lace trim at the bottom um, and yeah that's kind of it and then um, obviously back to the beginning. So I hope you like it. I had such a lot of fun making it. It was really nice kind of using some different colours for Christmas. And um, yeah, I really pleased how it turned out. So I hope that you guys like it. So this journal, um, and this is what I'm hoping to do for all of the items that are going to be in the Advent Calendar series. The item is going to be listed in my Etsy shop at 2pm GMT, which is 9am Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm doing it that time because when I googled it that seems to be that's the most you know the time when the most countries around the world are going to be awake and you know able to get online so it was kind of hard you know picking a time really but yeah I just had to go with the time that it suggested that you know the majority were then going to be awake um, so that's the time that it's going to be listed in my Etsy shop and um, yeah Hope that you like it and as I said in the trailer I'm going to be putting something um, for sale in my in my shop every single day. Um, hopefully of all different kind of you know pieces you know projects and pieces um, and therefore obviously different values you know um, uh, less expensive and you know different values as well. Um, so hopefully you know there would be things for you know lots of different people. So yeah, I hope that you like it and would love you to join me tomorrow for tomorrow's um, advent calendar and um, see what's in my shop tomorrow. So thank you so much for joining me and have a great day everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye.